to get picked off. Cheltenham, then that was kind of like what lit the fuse as far as this offense is concerned. Yeah, I mean, they, the Kukauk Eagles were moving the ball well. It seemed like they were going to go right down the field and score, but they come up with a big play. And then after that, it was just, you know, one big play after another. And it, and it only took a few plays, two, three plays every time, and they scored 21 points before you know it. Explosive offensively. I've been very impressed with them. On film, it's tough to tell exactly how fast the kids are. Because the teams they're playing against must be just as fast. And, uh, you know, I'm really impressed with their team speed. Yeah, and you know, we, we knew coming in that this was a very athletic Cheltenham team. But like you said, the speed on the film, nowhere near what we've seen here in this first half. That's for sure. Barnes and has been doing a phenomenal job. And the, the wideouts just getting down the field. Uh, Hunter throwing the ball just... It seems if it's just throwing the ball down the field to nobody and then out of nowhere, yeah. these guys are running underneath the ball and making big plays. Now, Cacalico offensively, they've been able to move the ball. Yeah, uh, they the offensive line has done a great job of moving people off the ball, and, and Noah Palm has done an excellent job of reading the option and, and giving the ball inside and then pulling it and getting to the edge. Uh, counter plays have worked very well, but... Somehow the defense has to find a way of stopping Cheltenham to get the ball back so that they can get a score here and and, and bring the game a little bit closer than the nine nine points that it is. And unfortunately for Cacalico, it looks like they're going to be without the services now of Ronald Zahn for the rest of the ball game. He was on crutches there at the end of the first half. Yeah, that's a huge loss for them because not only is he so important to their offense for making big plays, especially like those counter plays and in their passing game, the very little they throw, but in the secondary, he is even huger, uh, make a huger impact for them. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're playing some younger guys, and, uh, you know, the way that, that Cheltenham has thrown the ball is going to put a lot of pressure on that secondary. Well, let's take a look at some of the highlights from this first half, and like I said, we wasted no time in, in seeing a lot of action. The Calico, as we mentioned, won the toss and decided to take the ball. They were moving, and then Noah Palms passed got picked off by Camden Wyatt. That set up then what was the first drive of the ball game, if you want to call the drive. It was only a couple of plays, but it's Nate Edwards that ended up with a 50-yard run. Kakaniko answered right back. Ronald Zom took it 43 yards to the house. That made it eight to seven. And then Ronald Zom with his second touchdown run of the night. And at the tail end of the play, I think this is where he might've gotten hurt when he got tripped up there. But that touchdown run made it 14 to eight. Sheltonham came right back. Jameer Barnes with a 50 yard touchdown run. Put the Panthers up top 15 to 14, but then Cacalico came right back. Noah Palm diving in from six yards out. Put him up 20 to 15, but Sheltonham goes up top. Jameer Barnes, a 69 yard pass from Adonis Hunter. That made it 22 to 20. And then the big one right at the tail end of the first half. Hunter to a wide open TJ Harris, and that gave the Panthers a 29 to 20 lead, which is where we stand now at the break. And Cheltenham will get the ball first to start the second half. Yeah, that's going to be big. You know, Kukalko, as I said, has to come up with a stop here, try to get the ball back. The first five minutes of the second half is going to tell the tale of the second half. If, if Kukalko can stop him, you know, that may change the tide. If if uh, Cheltenham goes down and scores, that might be the difference in the game right there. So if you're Coach Dave Gimmerick, what are you saying at halftime? No, you get the uh, you got to go out defense this first five minutes. We've got to try and stop them, get the ball back, offense get on the field, score a touchdown. If we can do those two things here early in the first couple of minutes of the game, we got a chance of coming back here and winning. And on the other side of the field, Ryan Nace. Ryan Nace, obviously you're thinking just the opposite. Listen, they haven't stopped us from throwing the ball deep. Let's continue to try and do that. Give Barnes the ball, whether it's through the air or on the ground, but some way we got to get that young man to football because he's going to make a big play for us. All right, well, we're going to get set. Second half, ready to get underway. We'll step aside when we come back. Second half kickoff here on Blue Ridge 11. Panthers with a nine-point lead. <laughs> 